In this video, I will go through how to set up the Karuni Cloud on your PC. This is a service that uh, Karuni is offering to all his clients. Um, first of all, uh, when we create an account for you, you will get a mail in your inbox that looks something like this. <clears throat> it will basically say, welcome aboard. Uh, welcome aboard, you're now ready, your username is, and that's the username that we have basically created for you. Then you have two options, first to set the password and then install the client. Uh, install the client means that you can access all the files from your PC through, you know, my computer or any folder on your PC. If you don't install the client, you can only use the web-based version. It's pretty much like Dropbox or OneDrive or Google Drive. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is to set your password. So you click the link and it will open um, this one here and you give yourself a password. All right, and you just click resetting password and now you can log in with your new so mine was Morton UFF I think and then I put my password you can also use your email address as the login might take some time to load the first time you started but uh, now we are basically logged into the desktop and uh, here you can see all your files your photos uh, and you have some other applications here that can also be used. Um, for example, if you look at files, it will load a list of uh, files and folders, and um, you can create new folders uh, by basically clicking anything. Let's just make a test for now. Here we have a test, and if you want to share this test with someone, you can just click the share button and uh, you can write the name of the person you want to share it with. I'm not sure if I can see outside my own organization. If not, you, you need to have some other people that you can share it with. Uh, somebody else will have an account as well. Um, you can also just uh, share it as links and so on. Uh, there's another option, share link to a, a folder and so on. But uh, this is normally when you already have five people uh, that have signed up for the Karuni Cloud. Then under the sharing you can write the email address of the person you want to share the folder with. And then you will work together in that folder. Now that we have uh, got it all to work. We can also install the client. So I click on install the client. Then you can uh, say it's download for desktop. I click on that. And Windows, uh, Mac and so on. Uh, let's start with Windows. <clears throat> it's now downloading up here. I can see in the corner. Okay, and now it's ready, and uh, I click the open file to start the installation. The installation is straightforward. Uh, you basically just click next. Uh, you click uh, next, and you install it. Just a standard thing, and you wait for this to go through. It might prompt you to accept the installation, and you click yes. And it has finished installation. Uh, it says launch next cloud, and I say finish. Yes, I have though have I have had this in uh, program installed before on this PC. So uh, let's see if it uh, will remember some of it. It will ask you to reboot. So I will pause this video, and then I will do the reboot now. All right, uh, the PC has now been uh, restarted. And uh, I can go down here and I can type next cloud and I click on it. As soon as I do that, if you already have it installed, it will just appear down here and you can right click on it. 
If not, it will start to uh, with this Add Account screen. And now I'm going to add the account. So log into your next cloud. So I'll click on that. It asks me what is the server address. Well, the server address you can find up here. It is cloud.caroni.com. So I will copy that one and I will paste it in here. So then I will click next. It will then open a screen like this and say, okay, uh, please log in and I will log in. <clears throat> and as I already have written the username and password and stored it in my browser, it remember it and I will say grant access. And now it will say account has been connected. So let's see what happens here. Now you get a kind of screen up where you can uh, decide how to synchronize uh, between the server and down to your PC. We recommend uh, strongly to use virtual files instead of downloading content immediately. What this means is that it will make a mirror to what you have in your cloud, but it will not download everything to your PC. For example, if there are a lot of pictures, if there are a lot of this and that. However, you can later decide to download certain folders. So the best is to start to just use virtual files instead, and then you connect. So what it will do now is that it will start to synchronize all the files down to your PC. And as soon as that has been done, you'll see all the green, and you will also see this green here, uh, has turned green as well. So what has actually happened on your PC? Well, if I go into the Windows Explorer, you can now see that you have got a Nextcloud folder here. Of course, I have some more because I have done this several times. So let me see if it's this one. This is the one because I see the test folder there. So now I have basically uh, done all this uh, synchronization and uh, from so here you can see on this icon and this means that it's available in the cloud only and it will only download it when you actually click on it if you have a folder that you're working a lot in and you want it to be synchronized all the time you can click on it right click on it and say keep always keep on this device as soon as I do that, this will download everything that is inside this folder. That means, let's say now you are sharing this with some other people. Uh, you create a document. Test sharing. You see, as soon as I click uh, and it has been uh, completed, it has been synchronized. And as soon as this is, it's available online as well. So if I now, for example, go back to my uh, web version, uh, I can go into my test folder, which is here, and I can see that the uh, file is available here as well. So it's already synchronizing. Another thing that you can do uh, is let's give another example if you have a big file let's say this is a very big file here we have one next cloud manual uh, you want to share that with somebody somebody but it's a little bit too big to attach in an email you can then right click on it you can go to next cloud and you you get some different options here eh? you can share options so you can share it with somebody in your organization you can open it in a browser you can copy public link Okay, so if I click uh, public link, I can now open my email and I can send an email to somebody. I send it to myself. A link. And you paste it in here. And you send it. This means that when the receiver gets it, they don't have to download this huge file because they can just click on the link uh, and it will bring them to uh, a link on the Karuni cloud where they can download this file. 
So that's how it works. Try to set it up and uh, let's, uh, there will come some more videos later on other things you can do uh, within the next cloud.